Learn where the stalls. It seems so long ago now, doesn't it? Right? <laughs> so one person stalls down, one person stalls up. And so when you're facing each other, you can do this to any random person. So one person spins forward, one person spins reverse. You can pass by, come to the other side, pass by and come to the other side, and just keep repeating that. And you can do that in both directions and all sorts of different combinations of timing, which we'll probably get into the advanced workshop tomorrow. And the other thing you can do, so let's do one beat in between. So we'll do this, just one beat in between, and then into this. One beat in between. So you can just feel how you're going to sway into the three beat weave. So if you remove that beat in the middle, you're going to enter the three beat weave on both sides. So if you notice on this side of me, my right side, her left side, it's a forward weave. On my left side, her right side, it's a reverse weave. But if you think too much about it, it's not going to, you're not going to understand what you're doing. So until you can get this down, don't really think about it too hard because part of the just like feels really good. So uh, next thing we worked on was individual weaves with individual hands. So practice spinning with your arms crossed. Person uh, sp spinning below goes over the top. Keep spinning this way. Person below comes to the top. And so you can just repeat that. Interestingly, if you're spinning in a reverse weave, it's the opposite. So if we're spinning here, the top person comes and spins down to the bottom. Top person down to the bottom. Repeat that over and over again if you got a reverse weave. Right, and so those, those weaves are the building blocks for everything. So if you want to combine the timings and directions, we'll go over that tomorrow. But um, after that, we did through the needle or four beat, four beat, four beat weaves. So four beat weaves. One person pushes the partner underneath. Person pushes the partner over. So under, over, under, over. Right, and so then you can do that in both directions. So I'll push you over. And the cool thing about this, which we didn't get into, which we were meaning to, so we might have to throw in the advanced workshop, is out of this, you can have one partner turn, and then you enter a three beat weave on one side, right? And then you can turn again, and you enter a four beat weave again. So there's lots of combinations of that that make partner poi really cool. But, and then last thing was thread the needle, which was one person. So there are a couple ways you can do this. You can do it right hands up, coming at each other, right hand over, left hand over, right hand over, left hand over. Or you can do both inside, both outside. So if you want to go outside on the first one, I'll go inside. Outside, inside, outside, inside. And they just have a different bit of feel to them. And you can notice that any move that you can do in the wall plane, you can do in two wall planes with a partner. So say you have a four pedal anti-spin, right? So you do a four pedal anti-spin with a partner, it just becomes this, you start sharing the space. Right, so that's that's where thread the needle leads is all those wall plane moves where you can just transfer anything you want to a partner move, which is how you should think about partner poise. I can do this with myself. How can I do it with somebody else? So, hope you guys enjoy the workshop. Coming to the advance tomorrow. Come hang out with us. Give us a one minute preview of what's coming next. The next workshop. Uh, sure. Get off. That's all right. First of all, if you want to learn folding patterns, you can stay here right now. We can teach you a little bit, but we'll also go over that. So that would be. Yeah, so let's do, let's do these ones. So you can turn here, so turn out. Yeah, sure. So you can turn out this way, you can go back to back if you want, into a back to back weave, and then you can turn out to a four beat on the other side, so this is a three beat, and then we go into a four beat, right, and then you can come back to the middle. You just kind of keep spinning your hand, other hand. Yeah, the other hand just keeps spinning in the timing that whatever timing you're in. And so you can you can do pedals with it, you can do whatever else. We're, we're going over a lot of like, let's do like spirals. We're doing a lot of tricks because a lot of people know all the folding stuff. So if you can learn <laughs> tricks and stuff, then it makes it a lot more fun. So things like that, or like the no beat tosses. So we'll go this one. Try again. Yes. <laughs> so we'll go this one. Oops. Stuff like that. So we'll we'll see you tomorrow and we'll <laughs> think of some things. There's a lot to learn. Yay! Yeah. That was great guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.